let's stop over that because I think that's actually a critical story. And here's what's gone wrong in the past and what we're hoping to change uh, by drawing across the University of Toronto from all the faculties and putting us all together. Uh, oftentimes, we didn't ask that question. We didn't say to the Indian housewife, hey, we know that you know smoky food smells better and that's what people expect. But there's a cost to that. Your kids are getting sick or somebody else is getting sick. That was never discussed because if it worked, if it was efficient, governments bought stoves by the thousands, sent them to where to, to so-called poor countries and then didn't understand why they weren't adopted. That's the advantage of having your group that walks through the whole process from beginning to end. That's what we found with Yuling's famous toilet project, right? It was really critical to understand where in the village the engineering part of that was brain breaking and only Yuling's brain could, you know, do this work. But the rest of the team was all about where are you going to put this toilet? Let and that's not an easy question. Let me give you an example of something that we learned that I hope uh, something positive will, will emerge from it. So one of the things that we learned was that actually when you're trying to sell these stoves, there are two decision points within the household. You have to convince the mother, the wife, that this is a stove that she wants to use. Then you have to convince the husband that this is a stove he wants to buy. And these are two very different um, sets of value propositions from the perspective of the potential purchaser and the potential user. So then the question, so as this was becoming very clear to us, our engineering colleague said, well, let me, let me do a little math, and calculated the amount of actual heat loss that was occurring in these stoves. And working with their team of engineers on the ground in the lab, they started talking about, well, if we could actually capture this heat as it comes out, could we not use that as a heating implement right. to actually heat uh, homes? I mean, it's not useful in southern India, but it might be useful in other parts, for instance, in some of the mountainous regions, where you can actually, look, all of this heat is already escaping. It's wasted. Can we think of a way to actually capture it and then heat a room? Or can we use it, let, and again, let's do the math and figure out how quickly this can heat up three liters of water. Because actually by boiling the water, and if you can do it relatively quickly, then you're now also purifying the water. So it's about, you know, so the engineer is now thinking, okay, how do we use the technology here and create a better, more inclusive, uh, broader set of value propositions to convince not only the woman who cooks in the household that this is something that she wants and that she needs, uh, but also the, the person who's making the financial consuming decisions, in this case it's usually the man, um, that this is something that will also benefit him and the household more generally.